Uh, I talked tonight about the origins of NASA, uh, but in a slightly, uh, entirely factually accurate, but slightly um, unusual uh, history of the origins of NASA. And uh, it was illustrated with PowerPoint slides and also some uh, of my space stamp collection and my Soviet Russian 1960s uh, postcard collection. <laughs> most people, now most people alive today have probably grown up with some different, some phase or another of NASA, so either the Apollo era or the Space Shuttle era or Hubble or something. I think lots of people have a thing, a particular period that they got very interested in space, quite often when they're very young and that sort of still has quite sort of nostalgic, pleasant feelings that it evokes in them, I think. Oh my gosh, um, I can, oh, it'd be so hard to pick a favourite piece of trivia. Um, I think Probably a lot of my favourite trivia is from the really early stages of when they were um, sort of trying to, when everything was very wide open about how they were going to do space travel and how they were going to do space flight and they were studying all kinds of um, different ways of getting people into space and keeping them there and the sort of huge logistical problem that is a human being in space and one of the ideas that they had was to uh, send up, because obviously it's a big problem with food and waste production and things like that, uh, and one of the ideas they had uh, trialled for a bit was the idea of sending up uh, clinically obese people so you wouldn't have to send any food at all and they would sort of gradually diminish during the course of their mission uh, and then probably return home much more healthy and uh, yes, you wouldn't have to pack any food. Oh, um, I think it would be an experiment to see if a human being called Helen Keane could go into space, probably. That would probably be my uh, science experiments. <laughs>